Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in Louisiana. Now this wasn't the original plan last night when I went in to play some games. Um, I had a lot of different ships that I was playing but uh, there's just something about the Louisiana that I just I enjoy this ship so much. Like this ship is an absolute nightmare to deal with. And, uh, you know the old saying that, uh, if at first you succeed, stop playing the game for the night. That's a, that's a good example of what you should hear. I don't know if that's an actual saying, but I just came up with it. Spartan Elite 2024. There you go. Anyway, <laughs> um, this is a prime example of what happens, uh, when I get into the game and I play and I, I'm like, oh, okay, well, this, this went really well. Maybe I'll hold on to it for later. And then I do something incredibly stupid like keep playing because I can do better. And I can, but good God, sometimes uh, the night just gets worse, right? But uh, Mino gets real lucky. We didn't lead him enough, and so he gets away with it for now. But... Uh, you can only play that game so many times, and I'm only going to screw up shooting at you so many times. Eventually, I'm going to reach out, and I'm going to punch you in the mouth. It's just the way it is. Remember, these are American 16-inch 50 caliber guns. All right? Same guns that you get on the Iowas. Same guns you get on the Montanas. It's a nasty little turd. And, uh, bonk. Ah! He gets away with it twice! How? How does every other Mino player on the planet get away with stupid sh Except me. Anyway, I digress. Mino gets away for the time being. But that ain't the last stupid thing he gonna get away with. Well, I mean, that ain't the last stupid thing he gonna do. So keep an eye out for the Mino. But uh, right now we've got a beautiful look at an over-angled main who decided to knock on my door. Now, one of the things that I've talked about multiple times over the years is you don't knock on some people's doors, right? What do I mean by this? Hello, sunshine. What do I mean by this? Sometimes, if you're in a very vulnerable position, the last thing you want to do is reach out and touch somebody and get their attention. Because nine times out of 10, if you shoot somebody, they gonna shoot you back. Even if they were predisposed shooting at somebody else at the time. Meaning, it's sometimes better off just leaving well enough alone for the time being. In case in point, these guys got my attention, and now I've reached out and I've touched both of them. Alright? This isn't ideal for those guys. Now, Frederick DeGrosso's got the right idea here. He's going to start to turn away. I do recognize that he's turning away, but I underestimated the extent of... Oh my god, what is the Mino doing? Dude, this ain't it. Alright, I understand you're trying to be a hero, but you're in a Mino, my dude. You are done for. Like, our team doesn't even let him pass go, don't let him collect $200, he's just out of there. Speaking of, hello, gross and perverse. Also, can we just point out the fact that I missed all of my torpedoes on that Montana? Like, that feels real bad. Now, they made a slight change to the uh, aiming of the uh, torpedoes recently, and I feel like you have to lead a little bit more. Um... And at least on this, like, this is the one thing that I noticed. Because before, you basically just click on a ship, and the AI is really good at telling you where you need to aim, right? Uh, but here, we make a, a bad decision to go for the curve first here. And uh, why is that a bad decision? Well, because you're flying directly over top of the Montana to get to the curve first. So not only do you have the curve first AA to deal with, but all of the Montanas as well. And Montana has a lot of AA. So uh, we take the shot, we get the torpedoes out there, and uh, I think I actually managed to drop those torpedoes on the deck of the Montana, which is not how torpedoes tend to work. However, in, if you're going to drop them on something, you might as well drop them on an enemy, right? So why doesn't that do damage? <laughs> Obviously, I'm being facetious, but yeah, uh, I didn't realize that they were that close until I, I launched the torps and then uh, suddenly they come in. Now, watch what's going on on the minimap. I'm going to try to head these guys off at the pass, right? Now, this is something that uh, a lot of people don't do very well, but 
Notice what the GK is doing and notice where the, the uh, Montana is going. They are turning around. They are going to double back. And so now I am going to put myself in a position to yeet them. And I do mean yeet, okay? We are about to do these men real dirty, all right? We've had an okay start to the match. Nothing crazy, but we about to yeet, all right? Not just eat, yeet. <laughs> As only, it, uh, as only Louisiana just does. Now, Montana here, you can see I'm, I'm trying to line him up. And I'm trying to guess. But I always try to pull the torps back a little bit to give them a little wiggle room. Because if they turn one way or the other, you can easily end up with torpedoes that don't arm. And so we don't want that. Watch this torp strike. You know, third time's a charm, right? We've, we've used three sets of torps and uh, finally we hit all six of them. So yeah, we're, we're getting the hang of it. And down goes Montana. That's what I'm talking about when I say yeet. Man just took 25,000 damage in torpedoes and then immediately got citadeled and killed. That is the power of a Louisiana. Do not ever think you're safe from this little thing. This monstrosity is an absolute problem, all right? You ever watch the old movie Problem Child growing up or, or uh, Dennis the Menace? That is this ship, all right? Don't sleep on this ship. This ship will hurt you. And not, not just hurt you, but it's going to hurt you where it hurts the most, right? Like, it's going to reach out and it's going to make fun of your family. It's going gonna, it's gonna to do some dirty things to you. And it doesn't feel good, right? I've been on the receiving end of this thing. I've been on the giving end of this thing. I prefer to be on the giving end because this thing is a problem, <laughs> all right? Now, we get a shot into the GK superstructure, but notice the, the reload on our torp planes coming back real soon, right? Like, this is why we run Hoshino. Because fully packed and uh, being able to reload all of the things quicker is a good thing, right? Now, GK over angles. We aim high, getting into the side plating, and we yeet him. We didn't even need our torps. Didn't even need them. You don't play around when you've got American... Well, any guns, really. It, it, you don't play around and go broadside when there's this nastiness coming your way. Now, I've got 124,000 damage. I just soloed this side of the map. And I want, to, I want to make that very clear. Look at where the enemy ships are currently, and look at where my teammates are currently. Now, these teammates were telling me to get back earlier, and they have yet to move. They have been sitting back there this entire time. That is not ideal. All right? Recognize your advantage and move. I'm not saying that they got to follow me. All right, there are other, oh my God, that was, I knew there was a destroyer there, but dang it. Oh, okay, we're fine. Now we did take a little bit of damage from the Frederick de Rosa also, but thankfully those torpedoes don't really, well, hello there, Holland. How you doing, sunshine? Fancy meeting you here. You knocked, I'm coming answering. Hold these for me. Bonk. Okay, it wasn't really a bonk, it was more of a... A courtesy slap. Yeah, we'll give him a courtesy slap. Now, we got the rear turret of justice on, on point here. And this is something that a lot of people forget about on this ship. They forget it has a rear turret. And that Zhao just found out the hard way. I do, in fact, have a rear turret. But not just that, I also have front turrets. And this Zhao is just being an absolute goofer. Like, you can't play around. Now, while we're shooting at the Zhao, we're also targeting, and we get a nice citadel again on the Zhao, proving that the Zhao's dumb enough to stay broadside. It's easy enough to get rid of. Uh, yes, it is a problem, but if it stays broadside, it ain't gonna be a problem for long. <laughs> That's all there is to it. The Zhao does not do well broadside. Then again, nobody does. Now, didn't quite leave the torpedoes enough, I don't think. Ended up only hitting two torpedoes on the, uh, the Frederick de Grossa, which is real sad, right? And this is where I make a critical error, okay? You ever heard the saying, don't ever trust a blueberry? Now, I know that there's Yama coming around the corner, right? So I have to deal with this. There's also Zao torpedoes coming my way, and of course, I get set on a triple fire. Now, our destroyer goes in front of me and uh, manages to spot the torpedoes, fancy enough. But uh, we're in a we're in a pickle here. Uh, Frederick de Grossa has doubled back. Arshima is, like, playing around back in the backfield. And I am very, very much in trouble. I've got a Yama in front of me. 
I've got a Frederick DeGrosa behind me, and I've got a freaking uh, Zal still alive that I have yet to finish off. Now, I make a huge error here because I end up shooting at this Frederick DeGrosa and making myself very visible. There's a smoke screen right in front of me. I did not have to shoot this man. I could have just used my torpedoes, I could have went into the smoke screen, stayed invisible, but he slaps the sh out of me because of it. Remember, this is the only battle carrier that does have a raised citadel, okay? This is not a citadel that's under the waterline, and I think that's the reason that they haven't nerfed this thing. But for our trouble, of course, they end up uh, hitting us again and getting a fire, and then Zhao coming through and doing what Zhao does, and once again, I fumble the torpedo launch and again i think that this comes down to it like i think you're just gonna have to lead these torps more than the auto aim says uh most of the time especially if a ship is moving um if they're sitting still then whatever like you can guess which way they're gonna go or whatever but the the aim had my my aim was off in this match now as i played the ship more during the night i got better and better at it but we end up winning the game regardless of how much i fumbled the ending there but uh, I could have just went into the smoke screen, stayed undetected, used my torps, and then that would have gave me a little bit of leeway. But 2,500 base XP, two, two kills, top the leaderboard, and you can see the people that spawn next to me on my side of the map, um, they didn't do a whole heck of a lot other than maybe kill the, uh, the Mino. But 192,000 damage, um, just showing the pure dominance that is the Louisiana when it gets rolling. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I want to know. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.